stay my blade from the flesh of the innocent. Hide in plain sight. Never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. These are the tenets of the Creed. The principles I used to live by. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me. Nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Please. <laughs> Admit it. I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no. That was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know, trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. There's space. Where the hell were you two? We're out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph. Couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Them's pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close. The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Saving those fellows for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you are not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail. You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. Assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. 
Had Al-Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so-called wise man of the mountain can see things from our point of view, surely the same can be said for other assassins. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale. How go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He was a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase, and will continue to do so. Do not waste your words. Shea abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, <laughs> I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on. Well done, Shay. Keep it up. Shay, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Venter. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as its coast, but I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. Where to? Wherever Templar affairs lead us. Liam, it's not like you to set out without a plan. Plan or no plan. We choose our own battlefield. And hey, we're not most at ease when we're at sea. Right you are. Let's set sail. Trust me, you will sell those lobster by the ton in France. Ah, the cabbage farmer has returned. About time. We have a lead on that curious manuscript. I'd be surprised if you can read it. No one can read it, imbecile. This is why the Templar are taking so long with it. But one of our ally has caught a glimpse of their work. A pirate? A spy who worked with the pirate. We set sail for Anticosti. That should prove a good test for this floating cesspit you call a ship. Take a look at this. I borrowed these plans from a Royal Navy ship of the line. They are like nothing I have ever seen. Good. We could use some more powerful weapons. 
Le chasseur, allow me to present our associate, Sheikh Cormac. Gentlemen, I have news. On this same ship, I spied the manuscript you seek. It was written in an exotic language I did not recognize and was full of drawings, plants, and animals out of an opium dream. Where to? No charts? No, no, no maps? No. There may have been some kind of code, but neither I nor the roast beefs could kill Where's the manuscript now? The man who brought it said a man named Washington sent him. I know that name. He's an important Templar, isn't he? He is. Lawrence Washington has great ambitions that Templars have helped fulfill. Shay, let's return and find him. You, sir, have our thanks. Templars desire to understand the nature of these artifacts. Their spies have called upon many doctors and other learned people in New York. They have also approached many tribes with questions. Yeah, they've been showing that manuscript far and wide. No one can read the strange writing or understand the images. We do have a name, though. We learned that Lawrence Washington sent out the manuscript. Lawrence Washington. Businessman, Virginian politician, and high-ranking Templar. Oh, uh, yes. I recently heard he was back from the West Indies. One of my men saw his major domo pick up a strange package. Then that package will be delivered to him promptly. Shay, figure out what it is and find Washington. And when you do, learn all you can. I'll prepare the Morrigan. A rifle. You there! Stay! Where... you are? How can that be? It makes no sound. Thanks for the present, Master Washington. Brother, are you sure you shouldn't be in bed? I am fine, George. Be a good host for my sake. Go to the wine cellar and get something special for our guests. I will. Gentlemen. <coughs> My brother is a bright spot in a troubled land. If I may make one request before I depart this life, please leave him in peace. He should have nothing to do with the troubles of the Templar cause. We all respect that sentiment, sir. You have my thanks, gentlemen. Master Smith, are you ready to leave on your voyage? Aye, sir. I shall return with answers. Master Wardrop, are you likewise engaged with the manuscript? Yes, sir. We will soon know its meaning. Then I bid you take your leave. <laughs> Too late, assassin. It's never too late to ruin Templar plans, Master Washington. <coughs> but my plans are already in motion. Even leading you here <coughs> has given my allies time to escape. <coughs> Thank you for making my end a quick one. And thank you for revealing your master plan, you scheming snake. Getting off our access to complete memories. The readable. Chevalier, what happened to your vessel? I got myself into a bit of a scrape. Sent three ship in our land to their watery grave. We therefore nearly followed them down. Just your fate has been better, Le Chasseur. Indeed. My sources inform me that Samuel Smith has searched far and wide, looking for answers on how to make that strange box work. He just returned from Europe. Where is he now? Refitting his schooner. If you hurry, you can catch him there. Oh, remember those blueprints? 
Well, I had an engineer build that marvelous weapon for your ship. Master Buckle's gun fires more shots than an artillery brigade, and twice as fast. Many thanks. Anything for my hooded friends. Artifact. Treasure from those who came before. Yes. It matters not. <coughs> Some of the greatest scientific minds of all Europe could not make it work. <coughs> now all I need is the manuscript, and all shall be revealed. I know we have to get these artifacts back, but at what cost? Samuel. You're here. Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah. It's the same. Speaking of Lawrence Washington, but you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrop. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to... Electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mean the excuse for a uniform. Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. I'll take that, you Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be? When the French undermine these squabbling colonies. These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture. Suit his own purposes. You're late. The sky is getting temperamental. That's not the only thing, is it? Uh, Master Franklin, sir. My name is Shay, and this is my associate Hope. Uh, William Johnson told us to give you these. Ah. Oh. Thank you, but I'm afraid I must delay my experiment. Delay it? Why? The army confiscated my lightning rods. 
They are essential to conducting the electricity. I need to vivify your box. Master Johnson would not want you to have to wait. Perhaps there is something you can do, then. Soldiers have been hauling things away all day. Perhaps they could tell you where they've taken my lightning rods so you could get them back. At your service, sir. Begin your investigation at the market near the docks. I will stay here and help with the preparations. Shay! Thank goodness! Uh, quick! Help me with the rods! Portugal, Lisbon, I'd stake my life on it. Make yourself scarce, Shay. The militia will be here any minute. I'm sure they will have questions. What about you? I'm a devoted housekeeper. Right. Lisbon is near as large as London or Paris. Are you sure you can find this one place? Saw it clear as day, Hope. It's a convent, right close by the harbor. I might have visited the sisters once or twice. Given your present knowledge of the site, this duty falls upon you. You understand what must be done? Find the Precursor Temple and retrieve the Peace of Eden. Finally obtained a ship for crossing the ocean. Have no worries. I will keep the Morrigan safe in New York. Thank you. Liam and I will leave straight away. Liam is unavailable at present. Your crew and ship await. Be careful, Shane. Pieces of Eden are powerful relics. All saints. What a sight. And here I am, looking for a relic from the time before Adam and Eve. <laughs> Strange days indeed. So what's the next city you want me to smite? What happened in Haiti, happened in Portugal. A great earthquake, thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. This cannot be. Shay, a person cannot start an earthquake. A person meddling with these precursor machines could. You saw the box, Hope. The temple was filled to bursting with that kind of power. You made me slaughter innocents. How dare you? You defend him? Achilles sent me in there like Machandal sent his man in Haiti. What he the hell is going on? Stop this! The operation was delicate. Perhaps you... You are shifting the earth itself. Who are you to decide what city falls next? Get him out of here. 
Liam is a fool if he thinks I'll leave this be. Achilles cannot be trusted. He must never find another precursor temple. I don't care that he's mentor, or that his family is dead. There's no excuse for this level of madness. There's no turning back now. I had such hopes for you, Shay. Achilles, I have to do this. And what is it you're doing exactly? Stealing from your brothers? Betraying me? Someone must make amends. Make amends? You have no idea what you're doing. The future of the whole continent, maybe the whole world, is tied up in that manuscript. Perhaps. But we don't have the right to decide that future. The right? We have the responsibility! We are responsible for killing innocents and destroying cities. This mad grab for power. It ends now. I will not let you destroy everything we have built! <laughs> Stop him! Stop Shay! You won't hinder our plans. That's enough! Give back the manuscript, Shay! I'm sure Achilles- I cannot! I will not let this happen again! All oh, those souls lost! One more hardly matters. Shay! Il est là! Attrapez-le! Help! Somebody help! Il ne nous échappera pas cette fois! I'm bored. Shay Cormac is an assassin. But he is unlike the ones you have used for your entertainment products in the past. I believe Shay may be the most important assassin who ever lived. Your research will help me achieve something I have wanted for a very long time. Shay's story may have something to offer you as well. to see you're feeling better thank you uh, mr finnegan was it sweet mother mary have we taken in the village idiot barry remember shay i'm cassidy and this is barry <laughs> you've been ill for weeks i hate to have been a burden see he's a civilized fella i for a clumsy deckhand probably fell off his ship half drunk Barry! He's right. What do y'all want? <gasps> What's going on? Ah! 
And don't come back. Thank you, Shay. In my younger days, I could have taken them one-handed. Why were these men bothering you? Ah, oh, the usual. They feel they're owed money because they're not Harmon's citizens. Mark me words, those gangs are going to be the downfall of this city. Wait here, I have something for you. It won't do you any good walking around Starkers. Here, try these on. They were our sons. I suppose if you're looking for trouble, you'd be needing these. Thank you. Don't you look a right, gentlemen? Yes. Did I have a book with me? Mm, just those peculiar weapons. Thank you both. If you'll excuse me. And the manuscript is at the bottom of the Atlantic. Help us smoke. Be at ease, Master Cormac. We are friends. The Finnegans were worried you might take matters into your own hands. I am Colonel George Monroe. Colonel? I came to help, but I see I am late. Thank you for dealing with these foul criminals. They were a blight on New York. What do you care? You redcoats are nothing but landlords. The townsfolk here are grinding away, trying to make a living. I cannot blame you for having that impression. Some of my comrades have been less than helpful. But I take a different approach. And what is that? I care. I want to see these colonists safe and prosperous. Noble words. Perhaps actions will convince you otherwise, Master Cormac. Shay! Colonel Monroe told us what happened. You, sir, are a fool. But thanks. <laughs> Master Cormac, I am sorry to bother you when you were barely out of your sick bed. No, I... I've had enough of being cooped up. Then perhaps you could get a friend of mine out of trouble. He discovered a nest of criminals developing strange weapons. Look at these. Bullets as loud and bright as firecrackers. If we might have a moment alone. His name is Christopher Gist. And he might be in over his head. I fear these brutes will hang him like a dog. I will not let those outlaws have another victim. Good. The villains are entrenched at Old Fort Arsenal. I have urgent business in Albany. Please, tell Master Gist to join me there. Good show, Shay. Ran them right out of their own dead. Well, I was looking for a new place to live. Well, don't put your name on the door yet. There may be a few men left on their ship. Look! The bird is nested right over there. It's a bargain. What is she doing there? That's my ship, friend. Begging your pardon, but I must go fetch her back from those louts. Oh, wait! I can hardly let you do that alone. Help me if you can, then. She's a fine ship. And true to my word, I found a crew for her. I did leave one position unfilled, though. Tell me, Shay, do you have a first mate? He's long gone. Then I apply for the post, Captain. 
I'll come aboard. As your first mate, may I suggest our next destination? The Colonel will be expecting me to report back. My thoughts exactly. Colonel Monroe said he'd be in Albany. In good health, I see. Yeah, thanks for the captain here. It is a fine vessel, Captain Cormac. Thank you, Colonel Monroe. Master Gist, did you learn more about our conspirators and their new weapons? Well, only that their base of operations is a French fort further downriver. It's a little close for comfort, isn't it? If the French have installed a fort in our territory, they are likely preparing an assault. New York could burn. Will you join us, Master Cormac? Aye. Enough innocents have died already. Might I suggest we improve our vessel? The Morrigan is good, but with a few more supplies, she could be unstoppable. And you know, there's a French outpost nearby, I happen to know. I like the sound of that. Chasseur. Say, it has been so long. Were you on a special mission? Yes, from Achilles. How interesting. So am I. You are always good at your business, Say. As were you. Tell me. What are you doing in land? Special weapons. Poisonous gases to use against colonial authorities. I am merely a delivery man. Then may your final delivery be swift. What you have learned from Le Chasseur was confirmed. The local lawbreakers are changing tactics. What's their plan now? Their boss has hired Benjamin Franklin to produce new weapons for them. He's very well guarded. Benjamin Franklin? The scientist? You have heard of him. Good. He is making equipment to spread gases among the populace. Toxic ones, as it turns out. The populace? I thought they would use it against the authorities. Though that would be terrible as well. The ruffians we have arrested refer to an intimidating woman. I believe she is behind these nefarious plans. I look into this. Thank you. Hope. I pray it's not you. Shay, oh, it is good to see you again. Your friend Hope said you were away. I, I, I was. Uh, sir, I, I've come to collect the results of your experiments. Oh, well, it's a very good thing, then. I just finished fixing the prototype. Here you go. I was preparing to leave for Philadelphia, and then Europe. I was invited to lecture in London. Oh, would you be so kind as to inform Mistress Hope? Yeah, of course. God, Hope. What are you doing with these felons? Turning the city against itself. What have you become? Something the matter, Master Cormac? Uh, no, no. Yes, just 
old memories. When I am issued new recruits, burdened with regrets, I tell them the surest way to lose them is with gunpowder. You're right, Colonel. What marvelous destruction, Captain. I saw the smoke all the way from the Morrigan. That should discourage those miscreants. New York is safe for now. With all due respect, Colonel, it's going to take more than a few explosions to get rid of this kind of trouble. The boy is right, Colonel Monroe. Shay, was it? Congratulations. You just burned the whole lot of rats out of New York. I'm Jack Weeks. This is William Johnson. I don't know about him, but I'm pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well. It is, uh, terribly dusty here. I'm sure Shea can recount his adventures to us over a pint. Hey, the first round's on, uh, the Colonel, huh? <laughs> Something the matter, Master Cormac? Just a little confused. I uh, must have breathed some of that gas. Some ale will do you good. Come, we are all friends here. You will be taken care of. Dear Master Cormac, my apologies for the brevity of this missive, but it is time we were honest with one another. You have demonstrated your loyalty and resourcefulness to the Templar cause, and this despite and perhaps because of your assassin origins. The manuscript the assassin sought has been in my possession for some time. I reclaimed it when my men found you marooned. The Grand Master himself charged me to discover its meaning, a task I regret I have failed to complete. I leave it in your charge, Master Cormac. There is no one else I trust more. Now I leave for Fort William Henry, an ill-prepared garrison surrounded by hostile natives and the French army. We have requested reinforcements, but I doubt they will be forthcoming. I have no illusions that our resistance will be successful. I commit my life to the British Army and my soul to the Father of Understanding. Yours, Colonel George Monroe. Shay, you are a sight for sore eyes. Jack? Colonel Monroe surrendered to General Montcalm. The French and their Abenaki allies took Fort Henry. Johnson was supposed to bring reinforcements here. I don't see anyone else. The Abenaki are restless. They don't understand the terms of surrender and refuse to heed Moncal. The colonel and his men were released this morning. They're walking into an ambush. Wait here in case Johnson arrives. I'll... I'll protect the colonel. Thank you. Maybe I can finally repay my debt to him. Take cover! Loose the sails! You heard the captain, men! Let's get out of here! Move! Move! Shay!
I owe you my life, Master Cormac. As do I, Colonel. We have much to discuss. However, I must tend to my troops. Sir, I will accompany you to Johnson's trading post at Onokwaga. Then I shall depart at once. Master Cormac, meet me there. So, Colonel, it seems my life has an open book to you. Men from my regiment found you delirious and half-drowned. I did not know who you were. But what you were was obvious. I brought you to the Finnegans for care. Their late son was one of our order. Master Johnson was furious. It was a risk. But I suspected you might have left your brothers behind. Colonel. The manuscript. Why return it to me? Because, Master Cormac, you earned my trust. It could not be in better hands. Respectfully, sir. I'm more of a target than you now. Gentlemen, Kesegawase is rallying to storm Albany. His allies threaten a friendly Oneida village, and French troops have already entered our territory. You might be able to delay the French and help the Oneida. We will ready the defenses in Albany. Venerable one. My name is Shea Patrick Cormick. I... I am a friend. A friend indeed. You have the gratitude of my people, Shea Patrick Cormick. For as long as you shall walk this earth, you will have a place here, among us. My thanks. It is I who thank you, young man. Would you be so kind as to walk with me? Damn the devil! What happened here? Kesegawase. Then we are too late. No. Fort Fredericks is nearby. I'm sure the Colonel can hold it. You heard the Captain, lads! Make haste! This is Kasegawas' work, isn't it? I believe it is, but I've not yet seen the devil. The manuscript. You keep it safe. Bring it to the Morrigan. That's an order. Were you to give me orders? I outrank you. I'm not part of your army, Colonel. I'll take care of the defenses until you get back. you swear to uphold the principles of our order? And all that for which we stand? I do. And never to share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work? I do. And to do so from now until death, whatever the cost? I do. Then we welcome you into our fold, brother. You are now a Templar, harbinger of a new world. May the Father of Understanding guide us. May, May the, the Father, Father of, of understanding, understanding guide us. Guide us. Shea has seen the true face of the world, and he has chosen his path Accordingly, a similar choice will soon present itself to you. I did not think you'd get this far, <laughs> but you seem to be on the right track. We still can't access the servers in the basement, but there's another one located at the top of the building near Melanie's office. That's your next stop. 
This office used to belong to a man named Olivier Garneau. He was my predecessor as chief creative officer of Abstergo Entertainment. Otto Berg is a representative from our parent company, Abstergo Industries. He's showing you the true history of the world, just like they showed me. Olivier was kind, he was intelligent and passionate about our work. But a year ago, he caught a glimpse of this truth. They never found his body. This is not the way we normally bring people up to speed on these matters, but you've worked hard and are proving yourself, so... I'm granting you level two security access. The servers on this floor should unlock more of Shay's memories. Shay? Is that you? Ah, how long has it been? Uh, where are my manners? Thank you, my friend, thank you. But what are you doing in Paris? With all due respect, sir, this is no time to talk. You're still in danger. Yes, I... I must return to my family. Thank you, Shay. Please, wait for me. I just want to make sure my family is safe. How? How did you do that? It was quite... fortunate. I make my own look, Master Franklin, as I suspect you do. Yes, indeed, my good fellow. Yet, without your assistance today... Well, you have my thanks, Shay. Is there anything I can do for you to repay you for this uh, kindness? Actually, there is. I need to meet a business acquaintance. I heard he would be at the Chateau de Versailles two days from now. And they don't just let anyone inside the royal palace. Very well. I'll see what can be arranged. Shay Cormac. I hear you are the Templar's new don of precursor archaeology. I'm no expert, sir. I just witnessed what the assassins can do with those damn sites. I have spent years investigating precursor leads. Tell me what you've seen. Well, I know both the assassins and Templars are looking for pieces of Eden. Powerful weapons, mind control and apples, but this time it's different. We haven't found an apple, but a tree. These temples hold the earth together like roots. Disturb them and Haiti falls or... Lisbon or any other place the manuscript shows. And the assassins are blindly interfering with these structures? Aye. And if we don't stop them, they'll continue destroying cities. I see. We have intelligence of assassin activity in the Louisbourg Fortress. We'll be meeting with a Royal Navy officer, James Cook. He recently gained a commission that could be strategically valuable. Gist has the chance. Very well. I'll depart shortly. Colonel Monroe spoke highly of you, Shay. He was convinced you could become the best among us. I expect you will not disappoint. I don't plan to, sir. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real... Uh, Firepower. I believe I shall, Captain.
look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. At a Wally. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed, gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. He's beached his ship! A novel tactic? He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Forgive me, Adewale. You dare beg forgiveness, child? Hell welcomes traitors like you. Then I go there proudly, knowing I have done right. It does not matter. Achilles already has what he needs. I will kill every last man who defends him if I must. I cannot let him succeed. You have become a monster, Shay. Perhaps I have. Come. What is our progress on the Precursor matter? We are gathering ships and supplies, but it is difficult without a specific destination. My men can help. I have enough to spare for a crew as well, Chevalier. Hope has found a way to reproduce Master Franklin's experiment. We'll soon uncover the next Precursor site. And you are confident you can do this? I am a keen observer, Mentor. The device will be ready shortly. Very good. Keep me apprised. Things are worse than we feared. The assassins found a way to make the precursor box work. They're already preparing an expedition. Then we must stop them. Hope controls hundreds of men. The authorities are doing sod all. What if we were to impersonate her men? We could commit a crime so big, they couldn't ignore those damned brigands anymore. That sounds like an excellent plan, Jack. Make it so. I will find out where the assassins are hiding. Is it just me, or did the boss tell us to make trouble? Enjoy it while you can, Shay. Don't we make a disgraceful pair of crooks? No. I make this look good. So what's the target? The military pay. We'll have to hurry. Our regiment is already on its way to the fort where the coins are kept. Great. And I suppose you have a plan. The fort holds many prisoners. Get in and hoist the gang's colors. When you do, I'll free them. You're going to free a bunch of criminals working with the assassins. Well, we have to turn the army against them, don't we? Remember, you raise the flag and I'll raise hell. What on earth happened here? The prisoners got loose. They had help from outside. There were just too many of them. Well then, we're going to have to fix that, aren't we? It's about time we took those criminals down. It worked, Jack. With a little luck, the army will crush those damned brigands. I make my own luck.
Where is your boss? I'll never tell. She'll kill me. If you don't tell, he'll kill you. She's in that big mansion. The one with the gardens. Shall we go? We have everything we need. Now, Chevalier will be expecting me. Hope. Bon voyage. About time you showed up. Sorry it had to come to this, Shay. You were a fascinating fellow. You have more endurance than I expected, Shay. Give Liam time to leave. Soon Chevalier will be on his way to the Precursor site. I will stop him. He will see you coming. Pity. You had so much potential. After the assassin expedition. Go team! Master Cormac, to what do I owe the pleasure? I was stopping to restock my ship when I heard the talented Captain Cook was here. We have a word. At your service, as always. I'm looking for a man. Captain Louis Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. The explorer? I have heard of him and his illustrious family. I must see him. Ah, who sent him my regards? Or... not. He sailed east a few days ago on a heading to Anticosti. Mm, indeed. I would advise caution. Oh, I've been there before. Then, I bid you good fortune. I will be sailing past Conception Bay, should you require further assistance. Much obliged. Master Cormac, I didn't expect to see you again so soon. I found a Levet Andre's travel plans. But the devil used some kind of code I... I can't figure it out. Maybe you'll have better luck. How strange. It is a very old cipher. I have seen it once before. I could draw you a map. Or... You could accompany me. Help me find La Verandrie. An urgent matter, then. Very well. We shall sail together again. Was I right? Convinced to the end. You bastard! 
Achilles and Liam have already headed north. Hope was right. <laughs> I do make a good distraction. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your help, Captain Cook. You're welcome, Captain Cormac. Sailing with you is certainly, um, interesting. Eh, trouble does seem to find us, it's true. Yeah. Tell me the truth. Are you fellows with a larger organization? The Board of Admiralty. You take your orders directly from His Majesty, don't you? We couldn't tell you, even if we were. You should have these maps. The Levet Andre won't need them anymore. We'll contact you in regards to sponsoring future voyages, Captain. Much obliged. Master Kenway! The Levet Andre's dead. I have the coordinates. I know where the assassins are going. Then, let us make haste. Do you think Achilles and Liam have found the precursor site? The world is still standing. If they uncovered it, they have not yet set the Earth in motion. How gentlemanly of them. There should still be time. Master Gist, stay here. I shall accompany Shay. Sir, with respect, are you sure that's wise? As Grand Master, I must investigate this precursor matter to the end, and witness the death of Achilles' brotherhood. No. Go on, Shed. I will find another way. Is this the apple? No, don't touch anything. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. Finally, you understand. Achilles. This is a structure to hold the world together, not a weapon to control it. This whole calamity could have been avoided if you'd only listened to me. Disrespectful to the end. Yes, we've been working on that. Right or wrong, Shay. You betrayed the Brotherhood. Achilles and me, says the man who shot me in the back. The homestead. That was Chevalier. I don't miss the young goat. Do I have to tell you, Liam? I make my own luck. How do you do that? You bastard. You broke the assassins. Betrayed everyone you knew. You sided with our worst enemies. And for what? <laughs> to save the world. I hope that world is a good one. Why not? 
Achilles is harmless now. A mentor with no followers. What kind of world are we making if we cannot show mercy? Besides, he understands what these precursor sites are now. Without him, the assassins may continue their search. Valid points. Never forget what has happened here. I won't. But the world will. So what happens now? Master Gist will be in charge of eradicating any remaining traces of the assassins. Master Weeks and the others will assist him, of course. Achilles has lost everything. He won't dare leave his homestead. He won't. Shay, although our search for precursor sites is at an end, I want that box. You will find it for the Templar Order, and for me. It could be anywhere in the world by now. It may take years to find it. It may take your lifetime. Are you up for the challenge? Good. I have everything I need to complete our assignment here. One last job, Namskull. We need you to upload Shay's story. But not to Helix. I want some very specific people to see what we have found here. The assassins are weak. It is only a matter of time before I catch the last of them and kill them. But it is not enough for them to die. What happened in Haiti happened in Portugal. A great earthquake. Thousands dead next to your damned manuscript. Get him out of here. I want them to know how weak they truly are. And I want everyone to see them suffer. So on the day they finally meet me, they will welcome the death I offer them. She was right. What would he know? More than me, apparently. My plan is in motion. I have no further demand to place upon you. However, Shay's story is not complete. I would ask that you see it through to the end. The Royal Palace at Versailles, Louis XVI and Marie Antoinette in residence. Such decadence. Good luck, Numskull. Gentlemen, I'll protect this artifact with my very life. You... You're the traitor. I'm just finishing old business. Oh, Connor and his assassins. The American Revolution undid your Templar business. Then perhaps we shall start a revolution of our own. <laughs> Uphold the principles of our order, and all that for which we stand. Never share our secrets, nor divulge the true nature of our work. Do so until death, whatever the cost. This is my new creed. I am Shay Patrick Cormac, Templar of the Colonial, of the American Right. I am an older man now, and perhaps wiser. A war and a revolution have ended. 
and another is about to begin. May the Father of Understanding guide us all. It's my pleasure and privilege to welcome you up here today. Gotta hand it to you, numbskull. You proved yourself to be more than a simple research monkey. The data you extracted from Shea Cormac's memories has served us well. Shea's story is a message. One that says that when threatened, what an assassin truly wants isn't freedom, but order. And we represent the highest order there is. Whatever you learn from your animus experience only scratches the surface. We have existed since before recorded human history and have recently been reborn, disguised as Abstergo Industries. And entertainment. You have crossed the threshold, and your eyes have been opened. You have seen the world for what it truly is. There's no turning back now. We got big plans for you. The Father of Understanding guided you to us, and for that, we are grateful. The test of your true worth begins now. And it begins with a choice. Join us, and a bright future will be all yours. Refuse.